On the 26th of January 2005, the game of RuneScape was changed forever. The Slayer skill was released and along with it came an iconic weapon that has been a staple for the past 16 years within the game. This is the evolution of the Abyssal Whip. I'm going to be breaking this down into three parts. Function, price, and appearance, as I believe those are the main three things that make or break a weapon in the game. Once the first few people actually achieved 85 Slayer, it is said that the first few whips that actually came into the game sold for well over 20 million coins. That was a ton of money in those days. To put it into perspective, that was more than some rares or on par with some rares and discontinued items. It was about as much as a dragon chain body, I believe, at that time, which was like the most coveted, you know, equipment you could have. In terms of actual armor, that is. On these old forum posts, you can even sense like an aura of mystery almost regarding the Abyssal Whip. People just wanted to get a glimpse of it, just one picture. And that's, that's how things were. I mean, if you go back and you look at the wiki, because the Wayback Machine has a hard time actually going to like RuneScape and finding old pages, you might, you might be lucky and find one or two snapshots that actually work. And if you are lucky enough to find those old update pages, then you'll see very quickly that they don't really show you this is a picture of it. This is what you get. It's the new best in slot. This is where you get it. This is the drop rate. Sim that's how they kind of do it now. They don't necessarily release the drop rates immediately, but they tell you what it is, what the slash bonus is. It's freaking old, even. You know basically almost everything about it before it comes out, and you know how to get it. That wasn't the case in these days. That's why you see people just wanting to, do, to get like a picture of it, a glimpse of it. That's how mysterious this weapon was when it came out. You can see here, this is in June, I believe, is when most of these posts were made. The whip seems to have dropped to 5.5 mil. Some claim it's 7 or 8 mil. You can see that trend. That trend hasn't changed. You know, if something comes out, it's 20 mil plus, for example, and then it falls within a few short months. That's pretty typical with new items. But that was the case with the whip. A few months after the fact, it was going from anywhere for like 5 mil to 8 mil. But back in 2005, 8 mil is probably more than 98% of players even had at that point. That was a ridiculous amount of money. It was before the cash stacks were even green. Like if you had 10 mil, it was just the same text color. And this trend would continue into 2006 gradually and slowly uh, for many years to come. But it would always stay around the range of, you know, 2-ish mil to 4 mil. It was always reliably within those ranges for the most part. That is, up until the first graphical update. This graphical update saw the whip go from its clear self to more of like a gray where the clear patterns were. It was a very weird time. Many people probably don't even remember it because it was such a short time. I believe it was only a few months till they, you know, changed it to something else. And it, it just looked kind of weird. It's very hard to even find pictures of people using this version of the whip. It didn't look much different. You know, it still had the same attack animation. It just had a different inventory icon. And it was kind of gray. And I believe they did this to match the Abyssal Demon's, like, tones and exact, you know, colors. Because I noticed when I was actually editing the thumbnail for this video, the tones on that weird whip actually match the Abyssal Demon to a T. So I don't know if they wanted to tie it in to make it more accurate or what, but it was definitely a weird time and it only lasted, you know, a few months if that before they changed it again. During this time, actually, I remember the whip being 1.5 mil. This was partially due to a PvP update that made it to where the loot, let's say you killed your friend, you know, they would they would hold they had like a threshold and it would be like 76k. So if they had 76k coins and, you know, they scold on you and then you kill them, instead of dropping that 76k for you, you know, like it typically would, um, it would generate from a pool of loot and it would spit it out back at you. And this pool of loot pulled from multiple monsters and just other sources. You could get like a dragon full helm off of somebody doing this. You could get an abyssal whip. 
many people did and that kind of drove the price down to that 1.5 to 1.6 mil. This is probably the lowest other than today on RS3. This is probably the lowest price I've ever you know, seen it at, about 1.4, 1.5 mil. And it was partially due to this update. And then there was another update to PVP worlds later on that basically nullified protect item. You couldn't use it and you would, you would lose your plus one on many worlds, if not all the PVP worlds. And I would say from what I remember that weird gray whip, the wiki states it was like 2005, 2006 with the weird gray whip, but it absolutely was. And I think they just put that on there by default like a copy and paste job. This was actually, I would say around 2008, 2009 maybe, was this weird gray whip. Um, and the next thing, you know, that it turned into was this weird mass with a little bit of white pattern on it. I'll show it up on the screen. During this time, the price had actually rebounded up to about three to four mil. And it was during this time I actually killed Abby's back then. And luckily I found my old cringy a YouTube channel, not this one, not this cringy channel, another cringy channel, the old one. Uh, and luckily it had like a drop video where I was getting these colored whips. And the wheeled animation and stuff's very similar to what you see on RS3 today with the, you know, even the color pattern's kind of the same. You know, the white that's shown in the inventory sprite doesn't necessarily translate to how it's, how it appears when it's wielded. Other than that, there isn't a whole lot to say about this stage of the whip other than the price rebound back up to 3 to 4 mil. Because I distinctly remember pulling all-nighters as a teenager, killing these things uh, for abyssal whips. Get like 3 to 4 a night some nights. It was really good money. Um, that brings us to the end. The final iteration of the whip, unfortunately. So now I want to cover the functional differences, which in this case is just the special attack. When it was released in January of 2005, it actually had a special attack that would use 50% of the energy and it would either hit a zero or your max hit. This was extremely popular with some players with even some people now wanting it back. But from what I researched, people in PVP and in general just kind of complained because it was seen as like a cheap KO weapon you know, if you got around, they claimed if you got around like 37, 40 HP range and they spec, they would have a good chance of just killing you. And they would spec again and have another chance of just hitting extremely high before you could, you know, eat. Because people didn't used to do like the shark cram bland combo eat and heal up like 50 HP uh, within a few game ticks. They just, you know, ate one food at a time. So I guess at the time I could see how it was a problem. But now you have much worse things. So I don't. Personally, I don't know why it couldn't be reintroduced, but anyways, it was that, and then it got switched to the run energy spec, which we know uh, and hate nowadays. It's, it's just eh. And the reasoning for this is they've kind of gone like into this thing where if a weapon is just a good primary weapon, the special attack usually is really bad. If I remember correct, the amounts you know, the special attack's always been 50%, but I believe the run energy amounts have been tweaked here and there, but other than that, it's just been the run energy special attack that nobody really uses, to be honest. It's kind of niche, kind of useless. Other complaints regarding the old spec were things such as, you know, it devalues my armor if I'm wearing poor ags, for example, which was best in slot for defense back in those days. Uh, you know, they spec you, it's... it's has like a 50% chance of just smacking the crap out of you. I guess they didn't like that, you know, cutting through their armor, but only if only they could see now. You know, you get hit for like 120 HP with like a Gmall combo through armor, even though it's kind of inaccurate on armor. But anyways, before we wrap this up, there's a few more aspects of the whip I almost forgot to mention. In 2011, just a little over a year before EOC hit, which is the evolution of combat that tanked everything and ruined a bunch of weapons at the time. There was a whip attachment similar to the Kraken Tentacle of today. It even added a poison effect and I believe at the time even added a max hit as well. This would prove to be for naught though because just a little over a year later, EOC would hit and it would change the way all weapons worked and generally, a, you know, tier 70, Weapons are seen as not that great, so the price unfortunately tanked to an all-time low. 
And now that we've kind of hit our ceiling and reached the evolution of combat, Old School RuneScape was actually released a little over a year later in 2013, which saw the return of the classic whip, so you could say everything's come full circle. The whip is currently in its old classic state, minus the special attack, and I hope we keep it that way. And I believe at the time of this recording sits at around 200k. To their credit, in 2015 they came out with Lava Strike Worms, which drop an item called a Lava Spike. A Lava Spike can be attached to an Abyssal Whip and create a Lava Whip. Granted, this too was pretty much for nothing because it didn't do anything to increase the popularity of the item, even though it did boost it from a tier 70 to a tier 85. It's just not that popular, and the special attack, which pulls a player a few tiles toward the user, doesn't see much use outside of maybe a few PvP scenarios. Not to mention at this point, whips have been out for over 10 years, so a ton of them have accumulated, and this did very little to get rid of them. I believe at some point in the recording I misspoke and said it was 200k. The price of a whip now, at the time of this recording, is 100k. Very unfortunate. I did notice that there was a similar video out by a bigger YouTuber named Rarg. Um, I have not personally watched the video, nor did I get, you know, inspiration from it. But, if it's anything like his typical content, it's probably pretty damn good. So, go give his channel a, a look and uh, maybe check out his video as well. I'll link it below. So, real quick before I go, if you enjoyed the video, you know, do all the typical stuff. If you want to see more videos from me, you can subscribe. It really helps the channel out and drives more audience uh, and retention toward my channel. So it really does help me out. I know every YouTuber says it, so I'll just say do the typical things if you would like to. I upload one to two times a week. Other than that, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you.